Sachin Tendulkar's extraordinary story is far from over, but as the world's leading century maker in test matches, his stellar career has already embraced unrivaled fame and fortune, unheard of adulation and acclaim. His impact on the Indian game has been without precedent, but how does the rest of the world view the jewel in India's cricketing crown? Well in this, the final part of our Sachin story will attempt to answer just that. We begin with a question that's been taxing the minds of cricket's great and good for some 15 years. If you're going to have success against him, I think it's important to play on a wicket with bounce. Because he plays with quite a straight bat, um, his game is largely based around pushing forward and straight bat shots that if you have a bit of bounce in the wicket and you can get him to play away from his body, occasionally he can keep the slips interested, but there really are not many chinks in the armoury. I haven't seen one, but if there were to be one, then he'd find some way to eradicate it. He's that, uh, that sort of player. I think that there's no player, uh, apart from perhaps uh, Viv Richards, who has particularly relished facing fast bowling. So I think well-directed fast, short pitch bowling would unnerve any batsman, Sachin included. I always felt that if Sachin team Dolkers feet are off the ground, you've got a good chance of stopping and scoring runs. I always felt that early, if you could get in there and try and rattle them and try and hit back of the link hard enough, and quite often you could sort of pick them up early, um, trying to play a, a rest shot. You might hit you for two or three fours first and then, and then you'd get them. But, um, but yeah, no, he's a, he's a fantastic player, and uh, like any fantastic players, he's got a pretty solid all-round game, I think. Well, I think any batsman uh, coming to the wicket for the first time, particularly against a newer ball, is always going to be exposed on or about the off stump, so he, like any batsman, is capable of being uh, nicked out or missing one or uh, getting caught in the gully or something like that. I remember, remember seeing many years ago um, in one of those brochures that accompanies every tour party, the little you know, four or five line thing. It was about Peter Willey, and it said susceptible to the fast delivery, rising and moving away outside off stump. And I thought, well, that just about applies to every player that has ever played. And so let's use that for Tendulkar. If you can bowl the magic delivery at him, fine, he's, he's going to get out. Sachin, it seems, will be the subject of sleepless nights for some time to come. However, it's not just his lack of an Achilles heel that's the major cause for concern. His obvious strengths are seemingly all too apparent. I think he's, he's always been a person who's been very talented all around the wicket. Um, got every shot in the book um, and keeps very composed. You know, I think uh, he doesn't get, let anything get to him or get in a fuss. Um, he, he keeps things pretty simple. He's got the talent, there's no question, but he's also got the mental credentials to um, to score big runs at test level. First double hundred in international cricket for the Indian champion. A lot of players who judge great, great balance, great batters on, on how they move in the crease, how their feet moving, how their balance are. But this kid is just something very, very special. One of his main strengths is his hunger for runs, and his, I, I think he loves batting. He loves being out there, and I think that hunger, that desire. Is, uh, is more important even than many technical, uh, technical things. Out of all the players I've played with and against, I would say he's technically the, the greatest player I've, I've seen play technically, which is very surprising for an Asian player. Usually they're playing across the line very risky and, and rely completely on natural talents and sheer instinct. It's beautifully played. You don't see many better shots than that. I think he brings out the best in players who are um, strong and I think he can bring out the worst in players that are weak. Um, 
because if you're not up to the challenge, then he'll dominate you. I remember one game in Bang uh, Bangalore. Where I was just running bowling, top of off stump, hitting the deck, and just he was defending. And then it was like he made his mind up that he was going. And the length I'd been bowling before, um, he just was pulling everything off the length. So he tried a few different things, and he just, yeah. I think every ball he was looking to hit me for four, and I think he just about did. Well, that's a lovely shot. This bloke's a stealth, a stealth bomber. He, he just goes along and just kills you quickly and just doesn't even smile at you. He doesn't even look over his shoulder and say, look, look at your remains. He just keeps going. He, he's a predator. He can murder a bowling when he wants to. He can play a defensive long inning when he wants to. And at the same time play correctly. That is very important. He's technically perfect, technically very good, aggressive. At the same time, he can play what he calls sensible cricket, which is a gift. When you go to see him play, you get value for money and, it's a, and you're witnessing a genius play and, and you don't often get that opportunity. It's a bit like watching Shane Warne bowl, watching Lara and Tendulkar bat is, is worth paying the admission price for. So if I was a young kid, I'd want to go out and watch him. Sachin Tendulkar's radiant talent has left an indelible mark on the game of cricket. However, as we'll find out after the break, it's not just the runs he makes, but the way he makes them that sets Sachin Tendulkar apart. Sachin Tendulkar is arguably the world's most complete batsman. Exquisite off front or back foot, in defence or attack, his polished technique is as perfect as any in the game. For many though, Sachin has one shot that makes him unique. Oh, what a shot! I, th I think probably just you know his defensive shots that go for two or three when he just plays straight and looking at not even hit the ball, they tend to just ping off the bat and they go down the ground for two and three and you think, if he's doing that, then he's uh, you're in trouble today. I don't think there's too many cricketers in the world who pull the sort of the drive sort of two centimetres to the side of the stump back down the ground as their signature, but if, uh, if anyone's got it, it's his. He just sort of leans on it through a very straight mid on and plays that straight and he just sort of, it's just a punch, there's no big follow through, he just sort of head sort of goes slightly towards off stump and he just punches it through mid on. All you see is this big MRA sign in your face and then he just he, he just uh, it's almost like a check drive and to me that's one of the, the shots that I always you know think of such and you know he just gets gets it back right in your face. And it's uh, incredibly difficult to do but he seems to be able to do it with great regularity. You sort of think he hasn't really hit it but it just rockets back past uh, and through mid on and uh, it's an exquisite shot and and even though you're not allowed to applaud the shot, you sort of think, wow, that was a good shot. That's telling me that Sachin Tendulkar has got his balance, he's got his timing and he's got his eye in. Look out. <laughs> I wake up in cold sweats thinking about him batting, you know, but not one shot. That's, that's probably why I'm waking up sweating. He's, I just think he, he, he's one of the only players I can think of who, who has every single shot in the book. Wherever you wish to bowl him, um, he will punish you. He's, I can't think of anywhere he's weak. What a shot! Forcing stroke off the back foot. And I don't think anyone plays it better. He just comes and just punches it. He just punches it between uh, covers and mid-off. Actually, he plays it so easily. It's one of the most difficult uh, shots to play international cricket. Everyone can hit a half volley. Every good player can hit a half volley. The exceptional players hit the good length ball. And it's just a matter of when he... It's, it's instinct. I don't think he pre-empts it. I think it's just there and, and his natural ability takes over. But you see him play it, hitting it on the rise, through the offside, to me is a shot that I always uh, remember searching for. When I see him play that forcing shot off the back foot in Australia for a boundary, I think, mate, you're not supposed to be playing those shots. You're very good. That is a masterclass shot from Tendulkar. The, the shot that he is looking for, and you don't know it, and that's off a quicker bowler, and it's just fractionally back of the length. He has that habit of almost top spinning the ball 
You know, he plays like a whip shot off his hip. He flicks this thing around to the onside. It's not, many, not too many blokes can do that with any great confidence. If you miss it, you, you know, you're out or bit ugly or bowl, but the way he hits it, uh, that, that shot, uh, both off front foot and back foot, the way he flicks it around to the onside, I think he sort of made his own. The scintillating stroke play of India's modern master is, it seems, seared into the collective consciousness of the global game. However, with over 70 international hundreds to his name, it's conceivably Sachin Tendulkar's inspirational innings that will linger longest in the memory. I don't consider most of the hundreds that he's got at home as you know the great one because Tendulkar for him to get a hundred on Indian soil is uh, I mean if he plays below pass 30 percent of his ability will manage a hundred in test match at home. A lot of people um, look at the Indian players and their career records at home but his away from home is just as impressive. He's playing some fine innings against us uh, as Zimbabwe but I've got to say the best innings I've seen him play um, have been against Australia when I've been watching on TV. Oh, a beautiful fight. In uh, the year 1999-2000, um, he got 116 at the MCG on the first innings and 50 odd in the second innings. I thought that was a really superb innings because everyone around him was just falling over so badly. But he hung in there and he, he played a great knock. What a magnificent hundred. Superb innings from Sassin Kambuka. He's 22nd in Test cricket. If you go back to that Perth innings, um, age, um, the bowling attack we had, pretty handy, the conditions that he found himself confronted with, the pressure, you know, India struggling, yeah, hard, to, hard to top that one. Drives, that could be it, beats mid on, and yes it does, what a fine performance by Sachin Tendulkar, the second hundred of the series and certainly the best. But then the Chennai one, I think second innings, when we thought if we just get him out again here, like we did in the first innings, you know, we could have India on the ropes. When Shamal went round the wicket and bowled into some rough, uh, he was able to score and score freely still. I, he's been the only batsman I've ever seen do that to Shamal. 15th test century to Tendulkar. I've seen him make, uh, you know, not only hundreds, but good, good scores in test matches in South Africa that have tested him and tested the Indian team and they wouldn't be recorded as his, his best in hundreds and two hundreds but he's hung in there when India have been in real trouble and that's when Sachin Tendulkar has come to the fore. Sachin Tendulkar for me approaches every innings exactly the same. It's him against the best in the world and to see how he goes on. Of course you, there will be failures but I've never ever seen him back off a situation and every innings uh, is so special. Session never looked, never looked out of touch, even if he was. Um, and so his innings all looked very similar. You know, they all pretty much looked the same. I mean, he never made a bad 40. I can't remember how many he got. I just remember we, we were struggling to get the ball past his bat. It was uh, in the World Cup, just in South Africa when we played in Durban, and uh, he just smashed, or well, seemed to smash every single ball for four or six. The, the way that he times the ball and the way. That the sweetness of his stroke, it's, it's so pure, it's, it's so easy, it's just effortless and, uh, and uh, there are a couple of innings in the World Cup I must say that were, were breathtaking. Sachin has been taking people's breath away for some 15 years now. In the process he shattered records, scattered opponents and set new standards in the international game. For some, though, the most impressive aspect of Sachin's career will not be reflected in the record books. I guess when you're talking about pressure, you can have no greater pressure than to have a billion people wanting you, or uh, willing you to succeed and wanting you to succeed, and, ex and more importantly, expecting you to succeed. I think he's, he's probably got the ability to block that out of... Um, block all that away when he's batting, you know, I think when he comes to the crease. Uh, he has this ability to block... Uh, to, to block all the external pressures away from him, away from what he has to do at that point of time. And I think that's a great ability and it's not easily done. He wants to be the man. He, in some ways, he soaks up the pressure and actually enjoys it. And it makes him play better. There's other guys where that won't happen. Border was a guy who could handle pressure and there's probably guys like Martin Crowe, Richard Hadley, these sort of players thrive on pressure. I think he's one of those players.
I think uh, a lot uh, has to do with his nature as well. As uh, a person, he is just tailor made to take this kind of adulation. He's public property. Yeah, so whatever he does is going to come under the public eye. It must be tough. I mean, uh, to live there and to uh, you, with it, you, you earn a fortune. You, you, you lead a lifestyle that that few could dream of. But uh, it must be tough as well. The fact that you can't go outside your front door or, or do the normal things that people do. And uh, I think he handles it magnificently. I think that's uh, the true mark of the man. He, he's kept his cool. He's kept his composure. He, he's given enough personality out, he hasn't exactly hidden himself away and, and he's been able to cope and enjoy the adulation that he gets. Just to sort of keep things all together uh, with that sort of adulation and I think that's remarkable. He's treated as a god in uh, India and uh, he's responded to it and a lot of players that would have been too much pressure for them, they'd have cracked, cracked up but he has thrived on it and uh, he sets his standards very highly and the Indian public set their standards for him very highly and he responds and that takes a lot of ability and a lot of strength, inner strength. He's very cool about it. He doesn't let it af affect him. He's very cool about it. He just goes and enjoys. Till now, that's what I said, first century which I've seen of his, till the 35th now. He's enjoying it. He's born and bears the burden of a nation's expectation every time he walks out to bat. If, however, pressure makes diamonds, in Sachin Tendulkar, Indian cricket has unearthed a jewel whose deeds and achievements will resonate throughout the game for many, many years to come. Remaining chapters in Sachin Tendulkar's incredible story are yet to be written, but the tale itself is already a classic of its kind. From the Maidans of Mumbai to the cauldron of Karachi and on to international cricket's heady field of dreams, the legacy of Sachin Tendulkar's incandescent talent is already been keenly felt. When people toss up who's the best batsman in the world, yeah, Sachin Tendulkar's one of the first names on there. Yeah, that comes out of the mouth, and if if they say best batsman of all time, uh, they always say Bradman or Tendulkar. Not being able to see the Don live, it's sort of hard to compare. But um, Sachin's put up some great numbers, and they're only going to get bigger as he gets uh, even more professional with his game. Don Bradman had 52 Test matches, only played on 12 venues. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, he knows the ven venues inside out. You know, whereas, you know, Satch, he's played on close to nearly 70 different venues, different grounds, different places, all the travelling, all the d different things that are going on, and plus throw in one-day cricket, you know, it's, and then he's the all he'll be up there with Viv Richards, one of the all-time greats. don't think he's going to be regarded as a player like Viv, who really got on top and massacred the bowling. There's a different way of dealing with it. Sonny got lots of hundreds and he didn't massacre the bowling. He just sliced them up over a period of time and got the runs. But there's no doubt that when you talk about, you know, great batsmen, forget the records, I mean, they're there for everybody to see. But every, anybody who played with him, will talk about him 20 years later. All the opposition today acknowledge him as the greatest, so obviously when they are old, they'll talk about the best batsman that they bowled to us. So his name will live on it as a legend. I put him up there with your Barry Richards, your Viv Richards, Greg Chappell, Sunil Gavaskar, uh, Brian Lana, uh, he's up there, he's, he's there at the top and, and I don't think I can pay him a higher compliment than that. One of the truly great players of all time, that is 100% sure. If he retired now, he's broken most records, or he's up there breaking most of the records. Uh, I think there's a lot of batsmen and a lot of players around the world would like him to retire now. He's not going to and he's going to continue scoring runs and breaking records. He'll be up there with the very best the game's ever seen.
Sachin's prominent place amongst the pantheon of international cricket's all-time greats is assured. However, despite the many milestones and legion of landmarks that he's left trailing in his wake, perhaps the truest measure of Sachin Tendulkar's greatness lies away from the game of cricket. You speak to him, you meet him, you, you interview him now as a journalist, and he, he's a charming, humble man. Gets on with the game of cricket, knows what he needs to do, um, and is an incredible ambassador to the game of cricket and to his country. Keeps to himself. And that shyness uh, should not be mistaken as arrogance, because you can't with him, you know, he's, he's, he's that kind of an individual. Sometimes people think, misled by that because they think, oh, he's proud. But he's not proud because his nature is like quiet, very simple. I think he's quite a different person in private than he is in, in, in public. Uh, and I, I think the, all the, the friends who know him and the people who know him, uh, I think he's, uh, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's a lot more talkative and, and than he is, say, in, in a public arena. I remember that uh, I had a bit torrid time in one of the games and I went up to Sachin Tendulkar and said, you've seen me batting, what is wrong? I mean, where, where did I go wrong? And uh, he said, your head is falling a little bit to your side, so you should stay, stay still and be uh, on, in line of your shoulder. I think if you approach him, if you talk to him, it, He's open, but unless somebody goes up to him and asks him, I think he would not be open. He reminds me a bit of Tiger Woods, actually, <laughs> in that he's got a beautiful way of handling um, the media and the way he speaks. He speaks with his feet on the ground. Just a, a normal fellow who uh, likes playing, who loves playing cricket, got an incredible skill for it, and a, a real passion for his country, and they're the things I love. Very friendly very helpful and uh, very dedicated very dedicated to his family very dedicated to his work very dedicated to his friends and I'm proud he's still number one I rate him number one in the world but I'm proud that Sachin Tenugar is my friend there is perhaps no more fitting tribute to end this the final chapter of our Sachin story. For 15 years, this extraordinary man has gladly shouldered the burden of India's hopes and dreams. He's been painted as saint and sinner, saviour and superstar. Yet through it all, the boy from Bandra remains just simply Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar. <laughs>